Hey guys, still figuring out here. Today I have with me Star Lord from this one is from the Thanos Imperative Wave box set, and this one is from the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Entertainment Earth exclusive box set. So both of the Star Lords are actually the same. They are a comic version. Um, at that point of time, this was the appearance of Star Lord during the year that the toys were produced, and uh, the figures the figures are actually the same except for a uh, slightly different paintwork. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, so first off, you can see that the color of the um, figure is different. This one is kind of a bit more uh, black, kind of a very dark gray towards black. And this one is kind of a lighter gray. You can see that the color is actually different. Then the next thing is actually the collar. Over here, the collar has no red line. But here, for the um, Entertainment Earth exclusive, there's a red line at the collar. Next is the belt. You can see that the belt over here is black and this one is um, brown and silver. This one actually has the round circles around the eyes but the other one does not. And also the Thanos Imperative uh, Star Lord has kind of a darker orange compared to this kind of this uh, lighter orange at the mouth area. Otherwise the helmets are all the same. The head side boy kind of reminds me of um, Star Wars or something. <laughs> the clone troopers, is it? Here's a back view of the figure. They are exactly the same. There's uh, nothing different except for the colors like I mentioned above. And you can see the belt is different in color. And of course, um, one more thing is the weapons. You can see that the Thanos Imperative Star Lord's gun is definitely better better looking than the Guardians of the Galaxy Entertainment Earth Star Lord's gun because this one is kind of more greyish and kind of metallic-ish compared to this other one which is very very light grey and plastic looking colour to it yeah so I don't know why they actually did the gun this way for the Guardians of the Galaxy box set because if I'm not mistaken the Thanos Imperative came out first so I don't know why they degraded the gun to make it look like this and last but not least the boots are different in color for the Thanos Imperative the boots are black and for the Guardians of the Galaxy EE box set the boots uh, is brown and then the at the feet there is black here's a size comparison with 80th year anniversary cap and also with Pizza Spider-Man you can see that the Star Lord is actually quite tall and I don't know whether it's because of the helmet no not really it's because the body itself is quite tall you can see that the shoulder is kind of higher than uh, Pizza Spidey so it, this is this body is also definitely taller than the Bucky, Bucky Cat body yeah the articulation of the figures are exactly the same can't really do much of a split you can go up and down bicep swivel um, the arms goes around the neck goes up well because Star Lord does kind of can have rocket boosters to fly in space looks left and right look down app crunch looks up um, calf uh, sorry thigh swivel and there's no calf swivel or anything and ankle pivot joint ankle rockers and also hinge joint up and down waist swivel so both of them have exactly the same the same articulation. So there you have it, Starlord from the Thanos Imperative box set and Starlord from Guardians of the Galaxy um, Entertainment Earth exclusive box set. Both of them are exactly the same, just a slight difference in paint work. If you ask me, I prefer the Thanos Imperative box set. But then again, this uniform color there's a slight difference. This uniform color matches the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy Entertainment Earth box set. So yeah, you can't can, you can't get him and then and then match the rest of the team from the box set on this one. Stay tuned for more comparisons on Guardians of the Galaxy figures. I have a few more coming up. Do stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button and take care, everyone.